Right now we have new developments to the breaking news situation we've been covering all afternoon in Brackenridge. Yes, and we want to get right out to Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ashley Zilko. You were able to confirm some really serious information. Ashley, what's the very latest? Yeah, unfortunately, we just learned one person has died and another is injured right now. It's unclear who these victims are, but again, one person has died and another is injured. I'm going to step aside so you can see the scene unfolding behind me right now. It's unclear what led up to this incident or when it began, but I can tell you about two minutes ago, I saw the SWAT team arrive and there is a heavy police presence in this area. Blocks and blocks. Traffic is being detoured. No one can really come in or out of this area in Brackenridge. Now we're being being kept back from the main scene, but we're near 6th Avenue and Prospect Street in that blue building you're looking at. I'm told that is a maintenance building. Then there's another big blue building in between. That is a scrap metal yard. We're hearing that from uh, crews here on scene, but right now we're working to gather more information. We have seen multiple agencies here from different counties, uh, a lot of EMS activity as well. But again, one person has died and another is injured. I'll be working to get more information and we'll bring it to you when it becomes available. Back to you. Ashley, thank you so much. And right now we do have a neighbor who lives in Breckenridge on the phone with us right now, Darren Murray. Darren, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, tell us what you're hearing. Tell us what you're seeing. Um, well, I mean, it, it started at about 1 o'clock. I saw on Facebook there was a um, suspect that had crashed pretty close to my house. And then uh, not long after, there's cops circling the area, lying up and down the roads. And I happened to look out the window, and I saw him, the suspect, running through the woods, down over the hill by my house. So I let the uh, authorities know. And then about maybe 30 minutes later, I heard heavy gunfire right down the hill. All right, Darren, please tell us what street you're on. We're looking at live pictures of the scene right now. Uh, what street do you uh, live on? Yeah, I'm, I'm on uh, Cleveland Avenue right on top of the hill. Okay, so you saw... I can kind of see the scene from my house. Okay, so you saw the suspect go into the woods. You told the authorities about it. That was the right thing to do. Uh, about how many gunshots do you think you heard, Darren? Uh, like an uncountable number. Yeah. Multiple exchanges of fire. Now, are you being told to stay in your house? Um, there's been such a heavy police presence. I think everyone kind of figured out to stay in, but I haven't heard anything official. Yeah, and we're, we're seeing just rows and rows of police right now. We're seeing EMS uh, here on the scene as well um, from, from your vantage point. And um, are, you, are you communicating with the neighbors that live around you about what's going on here? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit. Just basically on the Facebook, uh, our local watch group. But right. other than that, no. I know this is probably happening all quickly, uh, Darren. What did the yeah. suspect look like? Um, I didn't really get a great look at him, but uh, somebody posted a picture of, like, his clothing. It was like a tan sweater, sweatshirt. And is that the person you saw, you think? Yes, and the they were exact being... same clothing going through the woods behind my house. And he, that person was being pursued by police? That's, yes. That's kind of how you put that together. Okay. Um, you yeah. know, um... <laughs> no one would normally be in those parts. That It's rough woods back there. Yeah, so it sounds like this might be what the former, I, I know that some corner, some kind of steel operation, there's an industrial area that used to be ATI, I think. I'm not sure what it is now, but we know that. Yeah. Is, is that close to where you are? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm right up, up on the hill above that. So I can't imag imagine how difficult that is for police investigators to try to locate someone in such a large area, um, you know, and, and so I'm, I'm you know, I, I appreciate what you're kind of going through right now. Um, are you just going to just hunker down there and stay where you are until you kind of get more information? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Smart. All right, Darren, we want to thank you. Out. We want to thank you for sharing what you witnessed today. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Ashley Zilka is on the scene right now. We'll be going back to her for a live update coming up in this newscast.